Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about how you can improve your English. Now a lot of guys keep coming to me and ask me oh, what if their English is not great, can they start freelancing, can they start earning money online, how to talk to clients, how to talk fluently like me, a lot of that. So today I'm going to tell you a little secret, I wasn't ever this fluent with English. So I studied in a semi-government school. It was an English medium school, of course, but nobody really talked in English. Um, I had to think a lot when it came to a situation where I had to talk to talk in English. For example, when I had to talk to my principal, I would avoid all the situations at any cost. You give me a chance, I would have run away from there. Seriously, I would have. That's how much I was scared, scared about talking in English. That's how bad my English was. But I have worked on my English, I have done a lot of things to improve my English, written English as well as spoken English which you can see right now and you can do that as well. It is going to take some effort, it is going to take some time from your side but if you are ready to invest that, you can become fluent in this language, uh, written English as well as spoken English, okay? So I'm going to give you my tips what help me improve my English. But before that, for those of you guys who are new to this channel, I'm Chavi Agarwal. I'm a blogger, a YouTuber, a freelancer and an online business coach. So if you haven't already, click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. So my first tip which really helped me out, which it might sound weird to a lot of you is to start talking with yourself. Have more conversations that you would normally have with people. So if you meet a friend, what would you say to them? If you meet your parents, what would you say to them? If you called up your sister or brother, what would you say to them? If you called up your boyfriend or girlfriend, what would you say to them? Try to have these more conversations with yourself standing in front of a mirror if you like. If you don't like to see yourself and talk to yourself, you can just stand at a place or sit at a place with calm where there is peace and quiet and talk to yourself. The second thing that you can do is to record your thoughts on your phone before you go to sleep. So at the end of the day, try talk to yourself, try to explain all of your thoughts into words. Start thinking in English so it helps you form those sentences. But what I want you to do is to sit down for 5 minutes every night process whatever happened throughout the day, talk about it like you were telling a friend how your day was and record that on your mobile. We all have the voice recording app, so do that, okay? These two things will help you gain confidence, it will help you start thinking in English which is extremely important and it will also help you have those conversations in real life when it comes to that, okay? This uh, is one thing which I did Whenever I got the time during the day, I would talk to myself and this has really, really helped me out. So if you are thinking that I'm crazy or this idea is crazy, don't reject that. Try it out for at least a month and you will see a difference in your own spoken English. The second thing that I used to do was to pick up any English music or um, English sitcom or a TV show or a movie, switch on the subtitles and try to uh, sync that with whatever they were saying. So they would say it, I would read it. This helped me understand the accent, various kinds of accents. It would help me understand what kind of uh, sentence formations are there, how I should create my sentences, how I should talk, what are the various things that I can say. My vocabulary has increased as well. So all this really helped me out. So uh, when you're starting out, I recommend that you pick up simpler music, simpler TV shows and simpler movies. So something like How I Met Your Mother, Friends, Seinfeld, something which is based on the day-to-day -day life where there are a lot of random conversations that are happening, conversations with friends, girlfriends, random strangers, the things that can actually happen in your life, those kind of conversations, watch those kind of TV shows or those kind of movies first. Okay? You can go ahead all you want to watch Batman, James Bond, but those are the kind of conversations we hardly have in our lives where we are basically saying that I'm FBI or you know you are going into forensics or you are going into uh, details of how to save the world with um, I don't know which villain. <laughs> okay, So uh, try to avoid those movies if you try to um, watch 
if you're trying to watch that only for the purposes of learning English. So if you have decided that you're going to pick up this tip and implement it, start with simpler, more day-to-day -day life kind of movies and TV shows. Okay? And the third thing that basically helped me was to make friends who did not know English. This is something that just happened with me. So when I uh, shifted my schools, I was in Gujarat and then I moved to Bombay. I had this one friend who was from uh, Andhra Pradesh and she had no idea how to speak in Hindi. She had decent Hindi, she would understand. But I took it as an opportunity to not talk to her in Hindi but talk to her in English. And she was very nice. She was nice enough to correct me each and every time I would make a mistake. I wouldn't ever get offended by it because uh, she was helping me out, you know. I understand she was helping me out. <clears throat> and it did help me a lot. After that, when I went to college, when I joined National University in Raipur, I had two friends, both of them were from uh, Tamil Nadu and again, they did not have, uh, they were not very comfortable with Hindi and <clears throat> I took that as an opportunity as well and I started speaking with them in English, which ultimately improved my English. My basic point is, if you want to improve your spoken English guys, you need to start speaking in English. So start doing that immediately. Right now, if you don't have friends around you, you have so many apps that can actually help you with pronunciations and conversations, something like Cambly, Duolingo. There are so many other apps that you can find online which can actually help you do this. So you should do this as well. If you can get a friend, there is no better thing than that because you know we all enjoy talking to our friends. So these are the three tips that I have for you to improve your spoken English. These are tried, tested. This is how I improve my English. So I'm very, very sure that if you're going to implement it, it's going to help you out as well. Now, coming to English and freelance. So a lot of uh, people have this doubt, you know, what if my English is not that great? How to con how to have a conversation with my clients? They're so scared of discovery calls. So I have a few tips for you guys also. The first thing, whatever you write to your client in an email, in your proposals, in your portfolios, offers, whatever it is, run it through Grammarly because it is going to tell you where you're going wrong. At least the basic problems with your English, basic punctuation errors, basic grammatical errors, it's going to point out and you can correct that. That is your first step. Okay, so instead of just correcting whatever Grammarly is suggesting, ensure that you are learning from there. Okay, the second one is to uh, practice your discovery call uh, conversations. Now, every time you're going to land a client and you're going to uh, you know, have a discovery call with them, there are certain questions that are always going to arise. Things like, what have you done before? What kind of clients you have worked with? What do you charge? What is your process? You know, those kind of things are always going to be there. So practice that. Practice the answers to those questions so you're comfortable talking in English, at least for that part of the call. And that part of the call is actually the majority of the call where you're telling them about their own businesses. So you're going to research on their business, create a basic paragraph that you're going to tell them. And you're going to speak to them. So you're going to say something like, hmm, this is this, this X, Y, Z is what I know about your business. Why don't you tell me something more? You know, you're giving it to them, asking them questions. So you don't have to speak. They're going to ask you, so tell us about you, about your work. You're prepared for that. What do you do? You're prepared for that. How much do you charge? What is your process? You're already prepared for things like that. There are only going to be a few questions here and there that you won't be prepared for. But keep your calm think clearly and then speak and you will be completely set for the call okay so don't get scared of discovery calls prepare your call script because that's going to really help you out the third thing if you're still very nervous start offering a service that does not require any english skills so something like video editing so video editing does not require you to write or speak in english what is required is your skill okay so that is one thing that you can do. Stay away from things like copywriting, content writing, proofreading, editing, um, all those things because those are the kind of things that require you require the output in English. You can go with video editing, uh, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, etc. You know, those are the kind of things that do not require the output in English. And the last one is that communicate with your clients through emails so frequently and often so that you don't have to get on calls with them or they don't have to call you. That means that if you land a client, you're going to keep them up to date on what's happening with their work, 
where you are, what's the progress, if you have any doubts, keep them updated via emails so they don't have to get in touch with you or call you. That means you can completely avoid talking in English. Okay, so these are my tips if you are scared. But ultimately, running away from this is not an option. So start working on your English. Be confident. It's just a language and you can always improve your language. Okay? We all learn new languages. You can still do it. English is not that difficult. All you have to do is to start speaking in English and start writing in English and both of your spoken and written English will improve. This is it for today, guys. You can see another video on the screen which is about more tips on how you can improve your English. So go watch that as well. And we'll give you more tips. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.